Compressed natural gas, or CNG, is a clean, safe fuel that has been used in vehicles for decades. With its popularity surging among fleet owners, more want to know about the safety aspects of CNG. One of the questions that comes up about natural gas, just because people aren't familiar with it, is they ask about, what about the safety of natural gas? Um, they know that we're working with compressed gas in containers. Uh, we got to remind folks that there's lots of compressed gas on the road every day. They're out on the highway, they're going to work, and a, a, a truck goes by that's bringing acetylene to a factory, or it might be bringing high-pressure gases to a hospital, oxygen, other kinds of gases that are regularly compressed and delivered on our roadways. But when it comes to the natural gas vehicles, we've got a number of good things working for us. Number one is natural gas is, um, it has a lower specific gravity than air, which means it's, it's lighter than air. So if it were to escape from a leak or uh, through a controlled release, through a pressure relief device, let's say, that gas is going to move up and away. It's going to dissipate into the surrounding air. If you compare that to gasoline or to diesel, they're liquid fuels. They tend to um, basically pool around the vehicle if you have a, a rupture of a tank. Gasoline tanks are usually some sort of rubber liner or, or bladder that's inside a, a thin metal or, or plastic container that's holding that, that fuel. Um, uh, that's certainly not as robust as the technology that we have with CNG tanks, which uh, are four different kinds, type one through four, type one being steel, type four being all composite wrapped with a, a plastic liner. These vehicle storage tanks, these, these CNG tanks uh, can withstand uh, a tremendous amount of, of, of uh, energy, whether it be compaction from an accident. Uh, we have tests where we've taken the tanks and we've dropped them and they've been dented uh, and they'll be taken out of service, of course, at that point, but they haven't ruptured. Uh, we've taken rifle file and fire and, and shot right through them. And uh, there's a loud noise because you have compressed gas leaving that little hole in the tank, but it doesn't explode the tank, it just releases the pressure. And we've even put them on fires where we bring the temperature up to 1,500 degrees or more. And on the way into that, in, in that bonfire that we sit in on to see if we can test it, the, the devices on those tanks will relieve the pressure well before the burst pressure of that tank. That's part of what the whole safety design of the CNG tank systems. So natural gas vehicles are very, very safe. There's always a concern about, gee, would there be an explosion? Well, to have an explosion, you need to have the fuel and you have to have the oxygen. And oxygen or air, the oxygen and air, is not gonna get inside the tank because outside it's atmospheric pressure. Inside the tank, it's very high pressure. So the fuel will leave the tank. You're not getting that ability to bring the spark into or inside the tank. Now, let's just say uh, that an accident results in someone having a fire. Perhaps the vehicle that hits you is gasoline and its engine or ruptures the fuel line, there's a fire going on. Well, if that fire spreads to the vehicle with the natural gas tank, the natural gas tank has a pressure relief device designed so that as the pressure builds in that tank, so that it does not go to the level of explosion, it will actually release the gas in a controlled way. And that could ignite, but what you'll end up having is what looks like a large Bunsen burner. It's a high pressure flame that's controlled Firefighters are trained to recognize that that is the safe release of that gas and just to merely uh, keep the rest of the vehicle or any vehicles around it uh, cooled down while that gas burns itself out. So that's a safety feature that's built into all of them. One, one great analogy I like to use with folks is um, if you tried natural gas vehicles back in the 70s and 80s, it's probably like you tried to rate track tape. We've moved on to cassettes, CDs, now we're at MP3 players. Or if you have a cell phone now, it can fit in the palm of your hand. If you remember the very first cell phones, they were about the size of an entire brick, and they had a big antenna on them. The technology has moved generations ahead, uh, about five or six generations of technology movement. Today's natural gas vehicle's performance, as compared to gasoline and diesel, I would say is equal to, and in many cases exceeds, the performance. We're now the new benchmark that those technologies need to reach. Learn more about CNG safety today. Visit cngnow.com.